when I face the window. Uh, Anybody else just stand in their pantry and eat snacks? <laughs> I put it on and I honestly, I looked like a young ba like baby, but a boy, like a boy baby. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today I'm gonna show you my closet. It's a pretty, it's a pretty good sized closet. Um, it's just, there are definitely some things that I definitely want to renovate the closet, um, but that's last on my to-do list um, for actually like the whole house because right now it's functional. The only thing I think I want to change pretty quickly is the lighting in there. It's like that really awful, like classroom lighting or like hospital lighting where it just comes down on you. I think we need some warmth in there, some like warm lighting, it's maybe like a dimmer on it for when, you know, it's kind of like early, early in the morning and you're going to get your workout clothes and you turn the light on and it's just blinding. So I'm gonna show you. I'm in here now, here's the light. Mm. I have a rolling rack in here right now because this is what, in the beginning of the week, usually on Monday, I plan out all my outfits, put them on this rolling rack and then I film throughout the week. So on Friday, this is normally what it looks like until like on Sunday when I'm doing laundry, I can put everything away. You walk in and you've got, well, first of all, you've got like a shoe rack right here that goes all the way across. Ow, <laughs> got this. Um, and then this goes into like a little nook area in here. And then this is the rest of it. Definitely functional um i would actually love to get a maybe like a dresser in here just something with drawers because right now i have all of my underwear socks everything like in baskets and i would love to have like pull out drawers for that type of stuff so change the lighting and maybe just add like a little dress i'd also like to get rid of the carpet i just um if you could have seen after i cleaned this carpet what the water looked like as I'm sitting on it, but whatever. So I'm gonna do a return. I have to go to the post office today. Um, I ordered some stuff online and I need to return some of it. I loved this set online. <laughs> it's like a two piece floral, like satin, satiny set. Um, in person, shocking, it looked like jammies, which I was actually so excited about this whole collection from H&M because I thought it was just so romantic and dreamy and florally, but it's like an off-the-shoulder puff sleeve backless dress. Like the elastic is really just poorly made as you can see. So when you're wearing it, this just like spills over in the back. It doesn't even like hug your back or your arms. Um, so I'm returning this, and I was really sad that that didn't work. I was so excited about this jumpsuit, shorts, romper in blue, and I put it on, and I honestly looked like I looked like a young ba like baby, but a boy, like a boy baby. <laughs> All I needed was a little hat and some little white sneakers with little white socks. Just a white halter neck, flowy white dress and the only problem with this was these ties are so long and i kind of feel like with the halter i don't know maybe it was part of the look but i just didn't get it like it just i just like wasn't into it at all but the the halter ties are this thick and they literally went down to like my butt crack so i just was that was a little strange to me next love love these shorts these bermuda shorts they have like an asymmetrical um button closure so cute but they were just so big on me like it was so much fabric and i i like oversized things but like to a certain point they just looked ridiculous and then i actually did a reel and everyone was so confused why i was returning this i'll play the reel really quick so you can see returning this two-piece 
set. I definitely just wouldn't wear this like on a Tuesday. You definitely would have to be going somewhere or going to like some event, something that it would make sense. But I was like, it's the perfect thing for a thing, you know? The top just kept like right here, it just kept like slowly slipping down. That would not be good after a while. And then the skirt on this this layer right here, like right where your tummy is, it billows out, so it's just not flattering. It billows out and then it cinches back in right here. So it's like boop, and like in the front, boop. I dread putting up my juicer every single time I use it. I actually put it on my wedding registry and someone got it for me and I'm so excited. I've been like using it like three or four times a week. I like the ginger and the lemon and just like all the good stuff that I get from a juice just really helps my tummy along with my probiotic, which I am out of. My seed, I'm waiting for them to ship me my new one. C is definitely, it's definitely not cheap. And I forgot to change my address when I moved. So it went to my New York apartment and I keep trying to get a hold of my super to ask if he'll send me the, my mail my probiotics in there so now I have to go a month without it and I've definitely felt the difference in my stomach um, after not taking it for a month and then I have to start all over because when you first start taking seed or at least with me I was pretty nauseous like towards the end of the day every day for probably almost a week and then I just my body just got used to it so now I hope I don't have to like readjust to it you know Ryan yeah. you still want to split Okay. Do you want to go before it's supposed to start raining again? Yeah, it's supposed to rain, remember? I swear I just told him this like 10 minutes ago. He doesn't listen. I know mean, for sure. Last time, my last vlog, it definitely rained. It was raining all day and now it's raining all day again. It's been weirdly rainy though um, for the past like so I'm still on my silk coffee creamer kick turn this little lamp on it also doesn't help that I'm facing my back to the windows I'm not facing the window because when I face the window oh. I have to show you this cute little package that just came so I attended a uh, virtual presentation for Orbe for their new product. The Tray Set Structure Spray, I'm so excited to use it, but um, they were so cute. They sent, and of course I got the package too late because of like my mail situation, but they sent like movie snacks for the presentation. Red licorice, which actually red and black licorice, surprisingly is my favorite. I'm like the only one ever. Um, animal crackers popcorn, and gummy worms. How cute is this? The presentation was still great and I'm super excited to use the product. Um, but it says, get set for the main event. My main is spelled main. Enjoy these concessions during our future presentation. I've never used their uh, styling product. Oh my God. I've never used their styling products. I've just used their um, shampoo and conditioner like the signature or uh, whatever, the one that's in the black and gold bottle, which is probably one of my favorites. It just smells so amazing and the conditioner just makes my hair feel so good. Um, and I've never used their styling product, so I'm super excited to get this and try it out. I was asking Bianca what she thought about Oribe um, last time I was visiting her, because that's when I had just discovered their shampoo and conditioner. And she said that they have like the best styling products, so I'm super excited to use this and hopefully get some more because I don't really use styling products I don't use like like a ton I don't use like a ton of hairspray or like a ton of dry shampoo um, I, I do sometimes maybe like every other wash or something just if I need it I guess if I'm going somewhere um, but I also heard that their hair oil is like so good so I'm gonna have to try that as well okay I didn't mean to ramble on about that so I'm gonna get a cookie before we leave. Um, hello, 
Ryan and I just got back from the post office. I dropped off all that stuff. I'm gonna grab a cookie. Do you want a cookie? No, I want California. Pantry. Well, actually, the pantry is not stocked because we're gonna go get groceries early in the morning. Mm-hmm. However, our beverages are stocked. Does anybody else just stand in their pantry and eat snacks? So, we're about to get in the car and since this weekend we're gonna do probably a little bit of yard work, we're gonna get some neighborhood inspo. And since it's too hot to walk, we are gonna go drive to a part of the neighborhood that we haven't been to yet. I put my paint clothes on because, well, we'll revisit that. We will revisit that when we get upstairs. Do you have keys? I don't. Wait. Don't answer the door for anybody. Okay? Give me phone. No. How many things are you gonna forget? I can't find it. You just had it. Is it outside? Is it in the bathroom? Is it in the kitchen? Is it in the pantry? No. No. Oh no, I don't need it. No, 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 you do need it. Oh, no, it's not. You gotta find it, but we gotta store it. One of our favorite things to do is walk through our neighborhood together. Um, like if one of us is having a bad day or one of us is like sad about something, we just like walk and hold hands and like talk through the neighborhood. And it really is like the most therapeutic, best thing that we've started doing, I think. I love it. Me too. Um, it's therapeutic, it's mind clearing, it's connecting. Yeah, it's really nice. So we're really just driving around to look at other people's landscaping to get some ideas, but I really want to know what does the, the best in Texas, because I'm just not familiar with that. So like what's blooming, what's dead. <laughs> So, and I have an app on my phone that you can take a picture of a plant and it'll tell you what it is. Yep. So, that's what I'm gonna use. Just run, jump out of the car, run, take a picture, run back. Yep. All right, keep your eye out. We gotta turn right somewhere. What's the street? Look at this. What a dream. Did you see that front door? Mm -hmm. Dang. Okay, Ryan, you can't just, you gotta keep going. No, no, this is already creepy. We can't fake it. Look at this tree. All the flowers come off. I love this one, it's like tucked away in the corner here. And it goes all the way back and has like a cute little patio. But wait, wait, is that a cemetery? This is where these people get their mail. This looks like it would be at the zoo. You know like the pavilions at the zoo? Looks like it's part of Jurassic Park set. I know. Ryan likes this, but I think it's too much purple. Go straight, go straight. I think it's, it's too much purple. It's not though. I love the gates that are covered, well that's dead, but I'm sure it'll come back. That are covered in uh, the vine. Ooh, I love these courtyards. How you like walk through this little courtyard to get to your front yard. I mean your front door. Beautiful. I love that. Damn you. Takes your coat and get your chair. You're talking fast, you cut your hair. You still drink coat and crown. Yeah, you look happy now. I wish I could just lie. houses are so mature with their landscaping. Yeah, they have uh, really great trees. And the best grass. So jealous of their grass. I know, their grass is so good. I think I got some good inspo. We're gonna go, we're gonna go home and make dinner and um, we'll see you tonight for a movie night. Or a TV show night. Start up. Start up. Must watch. Yeah. Popcorn, get 
snacks, make drinks. We've been watching this show called Startup. So good. We are on season three, but it kind of reminds me of Halt and Catch Fire. I don't know if any of you guys saw that. Just a little like darker, I guess. The trick to amazing popcorn. Drinks. I only have two hands. They don't come turn the lights out. What the fuck? Right. <laughs> Where did you get M&Ms from? I have a stash. You have a stash? You know. So there's a little bit of inception going on here because I am actually in the middle of filming the next vlog. So this is technically me from the future coming back to this vlog. <laughs> I just wanted to update you on something and I feel like I definitely should have done this before and I, I actually feel really bad for not announcing this um, before but um, we just got so wrapped up and so busy with everything but the brand launched um if you don't follow me on instagram then you have no clue that that happened um but the brand finally launched it launched last saturday i'm filming this clip today like in real time and i had a clip filmed i had a video ready to go live on youtube announcing that we were launching that day but everything sold out before like lunchtime minus like a handful of little things and so i was like oh that's really just not fair <laughs> and so then I just I felt so so bad so I wanted to scrap that clip refilm a clip right now telling you that it is live and apologize for not keeping you more updated in real time I know I've been neglecting my YouTube channel so much lately um and Ryan and I had a like a discussion about that and how we're gonna do better and he's gonna you know be back into the vlog so he can help me I've just it's just a lot going on with like the house and um and the brand and you know youtube and keeping up with instagram and all that but um luckily i love doing it and uh just need to manage my uh my time and my my priorities a little bit more but i am so excited that the brand launched and you know when we found out that we got the green light we were ready to go we only gave like a five day heads up um to instagram but you know we launched we sold out it was awesome so the brand name is After Iris. It is a luxury hair accessory brand, although um, we're gonna be launching new categories at the end of this year, next year, the year after, we have new categories planned out, and I'm so, so happy to take you on the journey um, with After Iris, and I'm so glad I can finally be able to share like what I'm creating, what's coming next, and be able to just like open up and like share the whole process with you because I just, you know, I didn't want to share anything like before we launched because I was like what if something happens and we don't end up I just was thinking of so many scenarios in my head so I just thought this was the right time but right now everything is pretty much sold out minus maybe like two or three things but we started the launch with the Alice scrunchie and the Alice scrunchie comes in a four ply 100% silk and it also comes in a um, Lux silk. It's well, it's called the Alice Grungy Lux, but it's more of like a mulberry silk. It's what you think of when you think of like silk. When you think of like a silky, you know, like pillowcase or robe or something like that. Um, has more of a shine to it, whereas the floor ply has a little bit of a matte texture, and it's a little bit more like actually textured. I actually love the floor ply. I think it's my favorite out of the two. But um, you can go to afterhours.com, see all the colors. We will be restocking some of the popular colors, some of the three packs, um, and we are launching. Um, I will go ahead and tell you we are doing hair, hair bows in the fall. We were gonna do hair bows with this launch, but one of the things that just took so long was getting everything for the hair bows with COVID. It just wasn't possible. Every time we would try to order something, um, it would shut down and we couldn't get the order. So I was like, you know what? I can't wait any longer. Like we've just got to launch with the scrunchies. So 
plans change. <laughs> um, you just have to pivot and, you know, you have to shift and kind of make do with what you have. So started out with the Alice, bows coming in the fall, and two more things coming in the fall that I can't say yet, but I'm really excited to, to show you and share it with you. But, um, yeah, we're live and the Instagram is at after Iris. I would love if you would go follow, um, you know, just to kind of see the journey and, uh, I'm going to slowly start moving all of the after Iris info away from my Ashbrook Instagram and on the after Iris account. Um, but yeah. And the website is after I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but yeah. Oh, I'm so excited to share it with you. And I'm just so excited for it to like exist in the world and you know, all of that. So it's kind of surreal, but I'm going to get back to work, get back to, get back to the future, get back to blogging and I'll see you guys, um, in the next vlog.